my organization, along with a lot of other arts organizations, are throwing a Mass Gallery, which is an acronym for Artists Making a Street Scene. And so this is a free event. It's designed to just bring arts community together to share resources. There is a creative scene in Santa Barbara that is um, is smart and not just destructive. Um, but you know we're all permitted. Everything is designed to help the community. So it's a great thing. I'm Hydra. I'm from uh, No Artificial Flavors. Uh, we're a community-based uh, organization that pretty much want to bring in artists from all different realms, all different backgrounds, to have somewhere where they can show. You know, a lot of galleries and stuff are very picky when it comes to the art that's put on the walls. We want to give everyone the opportunity to come and show. No matter whether, you know, you're 10 or whether you're 50 years old, it doesn't matter. No ages, no nothing. We just, you know, we're here to support the community and that's what we do, especially when it comes to graffiti or anything like that where it's street oriented, they automatically look at the negative and I don't do illegal work and uh, you know, I'm trying to show people that people like us, you know, we really do just love the art. We're not here to destroy property. So. <laughs> We're going to try something that's never been done before in the history of this show. So in the last 30 minutes we've never even tried this. Uh, my name is Andy Garcia. I'm an art curator here in Santa Barbara. Um, I also have a youth art fund called Heart to Hand. And my idea this time is to really incorporate the kids. I've been meeting with La Cuesta High School kids and their, their principal asked them if they'd be interested in really kind of evolving and really showing the community and being a part of the community. I gathered up some of my artists from San Francisco, Ventura, Santa Barbara. I said, hey, I got some kids, let's work together and let's have a good dialogue. This event in particular, we got donations of water and brushes, and it really brought everybody together. It's one of those things where if you build it, they will come, and it's true. If you just kind of plant an idea, and you give people the opportunity to grow and share, they'll do it. And what better way to do it than art? It was great, because we used um, recycled paint that we picked up from the hazardous waste, and they were glad for us to pick it up, so all this is like reused and recycled paint. So it kind of went with the theme of kind of evolving and kind of getting out of something that's maybe cast away and kind of giving it a new life. We did it! All our bands right now are playing for free. You know, everybody's bringing their own equipment. Uh, we had a, a we have our sponsors because like, we really wanted to make it sure it was a free event and so that anybody can experience it and anybody can have fun. I have a feeling it's definitely going to be annual because it's just it had such a great response from the people um, and it's all meant around uh, bringing the community together and then celebrating the arts. Scene.